Now, Matt Campbell pushing to try and find the first breaker throw here. Good leg so far. Ton, 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 40. 96. Hetta leaves himself one of those combination finishes that he's very adept at. 61. Campbell knocks off the 61 to leave a two data. Hetta's so good at these shots. And he's going to go 20, moving across so he doesn't catch the fly at the first dart. He's not moved on the hockey. Game shots. And he finds double 16. Bit of a trademark of his, those shots. 140. 140. If any of you guys are following the various action on the Dark Connect system, 100. showing you updates score by score on every board, A, you're a big bunch of nerds, but B, it appears they've done an update where it actually changes the average visit by visit, not just the end of each leg, which is quite handy. Treble 17. Leaves the ball for the Heat. 12 data. Beautiful stuff from Damon Hetter. Matt Campbell here in charge of this leg. Oh, it's a wonderful setup shot again. 138 to leave himself on tops, having hit 142 to leave himself on tops in the previous leg. Difference is this time he gets a go at it. 140. Ooh, now. No score. All three missed by the Canadian. Damon Hetter. Lovely dart. Campbell shakes his head. 86. And Damon Hetter misses again. It is four darts to break that he has had in this game, and he has missed every single one of them. He can't do it again, surely. Oh, and it's nowhere near. The laugh masks Game the frustration, shot. and it doesn't mask it very well. Damon Hetter leads for the first time in this game. Campbell is letting this one slip away. 137. Match darts incoming for Hetter, unless Matt Campbell can conjure up something special, and that is not going to happen. And you can see he's frustrated. He almost throws that second dart away. It is match darts Damon Hetter, who is hung on in this game. And now wants double ten. It's getting smaller, that target. No score. Match darts missed. Matt Campbell could have been closer. Double double. That couldn't have been much closer. And again, he's thrown that away in frustration. He's not helped himself. Damon Hetter could miss this. He doesn't. And Damon Hetter beats Matt Campbell, who is absolutely livid with himself. This is better from Slevin. Starting to stretch his legs here. Got a foothold in the game. Now exerting some pressure on his opponent. 41. Yeah, he's on it. He is right on it. Back to back 177s for Dylan Slevin. Fifty-five. What's the plan? Treble ten. That leave tops. Game and that is a twelve dart. It's two excellent legs from Dylan Slevin. Fifteen dart hold, twelve dart break, back to back one seven sevens in there, and all of a sudden. Treble eighteen. Doesn't find the treble. Ninety-eight. Leaves the 66, which he took out earlier on in leg four. Ooh, that's okay. That's okay. Double 19. 
78. It wasn't the route he was after, but he got a dart at the outer ring. He could not take his chance. Sliv Slevin may take his. Game and shot. does take his. 66 taken out for the second time in the game. Breaks Adam Warner for the third time in this match. Ooh, more Dylan. 140. Five out of six, perfect. Great response. From the man from Tipperary. One hundred and forty. He's not giving up, Warner. But it might be taken out of his hands in a minute. Could incorporate the bullseye here. One nah, just like another trouble. Twenty-one. Not Dylan. Forty-one left after nine darts. Brilliant leg as he looks to get this one. Eighty-three. Once again, Adam Warner keeps sticking in there, trying to make things difficult. But he's been deadly on double top all game, and it's 11 data from Dylan Slevin to wrap it up. That game ended with five consecutive breaks of throw. Nice score for score at the minute. Well, that favours this fella, because he's got the throw in this leg. 123. I think that's one of those where Luke Woodhouse is watching his opponent throw the darts and he's seen him just cram in the corner with some awkward deflections and thinking, this, this might not be my day here. Sticking to his task, he's down to a one treble combo finish. Treble 18 is the target, doesn't get it. So Woodhouse with a chance to break here, 104 he needs. Cool. Treble 18. So he'll stay there, he's got it. So a chance here at double 16, Great and he job. nails it. Great little finish there. The 104 checkout for the break back. Robbie Knops is not even in the picture in any of those races, but what you can do is really spoil Luke Woodhouse's day here. 100. Because he is down to Shanghai after four visits to the board. Mm, 218 then, bit of pressure here. Needs a treble. Oh 41. dear, that is a disastrous dart, an absolute disaster. Knops now, six darts for Shanghai. Might only need three, single for the double to take us to a deciding oh, leg. And Robbie Knops has done it and he will be throwing for the match. Woodhouse, this might be his last visit of the day and he's in the red bit again. Well, there's the one, so Treble would leave him on a two dart combo and that's exactly what he's done. So Knops then to win the match. 11, leaves the ball. And Robbie Knops misses a match dart. And Luke Woodhouse, because of the work he's put in, because he's kept his head, because he's kept his temperament, has a chance to win it himself. He's made a mess of that. He's only going to get one match dart. Can he keep it together? That's the easy bit. To win it, double 16. Oh, Luke Woodhouse, he should have had two match darts. He only got one. One wasn't enough, but will he be allowed another go? Knops then, who reeled off three successive legs to lead 3-1, was trailing 5-4, but now with two darts for the match. Oh, way inside, double four. Game and he's and got it. Robbie Knops has knocked out Luke Woodhouse, who had a dart for the match. Got some second round games underway already. Going Price 1 0 up in the All Welsh Clash with Richie Burnett as Jeffrey Desvan doesn't quite fill it up on the treble 18s. And Ryan Searle, who averaged 116 in round one. And it was, he was 5 0 up, averaging 125. He's one apiece with Willie O'Connor, averaging a paltry 107 at the minute. Yeah, we were looking at that one and thinking, can he do it? 125, that would have been some effort, wouldn't it? But Borland again, 97. can't get to a finish. Desvan for 4-0. He's looking at 10 for double 16. Game shot. Double 16 he gets. It's, well, it's been a very efficient performance so far from Desvan. He's got a, a real 100. seductive throw. You look at it and think, this looks so effortless. It looks so easy. Smooth. 
96. Very nearly brilliant there, but misses the bullseye. Desvan is going to have to be note perfect here to take this. Yeah, 146. Oh, now then. Can't quite follow it in. So ball and breathes a sigh of relief as he comes forward for nine for double eight. Nine. Oh, those were two darts he'd like to have again. And the look on his face says he knows he could be in a spot of bother here. Double 16 for 5 1. Game and shot. again, didn't get it the first time, but gets second time of asking. Big, big moment in this match. Yeah. That is the main thing, isn't it? Now he knows. 137. As he's ripped the darts out of Willie Borland's hands. 99. And he might be six darts away from a place in round two. Well, if Desvan can get the one more leg he needs, he'd be favourite to beat Robbie Knops. Damon Hetter and Dylan Slevin were OK earlier, but not brilliant. And this is in a section of the draw where there's no Van Gogh. And he's gone. Anderson is gone. Dimitri Vandenberg is gone. Could today be the day where Desvan goes on a run? And it's double 16. And this time he misses it. Match dart gone for the 1-3-1. But he will get more attempts. Yeah, he'll be back. And he has been pretty efficient in that 65. corner of the board. So Desvan then for a 6-1 victory. Game shot. Gets it. Match. 13 dart. Leg to win the match, Willie Borland, a short-lived comeback in the Players' Championships, and he is brushed aside by Jeffrey Desvan, who will go to face Robbie Knops. What can Slevin leave from here? 52. Oh, the wrong treble. That is not what he was after. 1-5-2 for Hetta then. Nicely done, double 16. Just on the wire. But he will be hoping to be back, but he might not be back. 158 potentially was incoming there. And Slevin, I think when he let go of that second dart, thought it was in. It's a great layup, but Hetter for double 16 then to go back in front. Game shot. And he gets it. Damon Hetter leads by four legs to three, having reeled off three on the spin here. Fifty-eight. So Hetter for five-three needs seventy-six. Sixteen would leave a shot at tops for five-three. Fifty-six. No, Slevin then for parity needs one o two. Trouble fourteen would have left tops. I can tell you, Josh Payne's beaten 31. Michael Smith six-three, and Darius Labanowskis has beaten Josh Rock six-four. So the four, eight, and nine seeds have all gone. But Damon Hetter, the three seed, is now one away. Leads 5-3, having been 3-1 down in this match. 51. You can sense the frustration 51. from Slevin. And Hetter here, six starts for 1-1-2. One, one, Might only need the three. Single will leave double 16. For five legs on the spin. Inside, he's not got it first time. A couple of times now, but he knows he'll be back for double eight for the match. And Slevin. 53. Can't apply any real pressure. So Hetter then for 6-3 victory. Double eight. Double four. Double two. Game well, shot. he chased it round the board, Damon Hetter. But he gets it done in the end. Reels off five legs on the spin. Tons of nothing in it in this leg. But Desvan has got the throw. Nice first start. Fill it up. And he does. Max for Desvan. Comes at a great time as well. And once again. 29. Robbie Erin off straight. And that could be crucial. Because now Desvan will need 67. Now he needs tops, and he gets 67 for the second time in the game. And he leads by four legs to two. He's got a variety of routes at his disposal, but big one was not involved in any of those routes, and that... 78. ...is an unfortunate visit, but a good layup. 97 then, crucial. This one goes. And he went for 57. the double, and he didn't get it. So Desvan then 
for 5-2 and four legs on the spin is looking at double 16. Game's and again, he uses the first two as a marker and he's now one leg away. Got to hit a treble here. Has to hit a treble and does. So leaves the big fish. But does Vaughan 109 for the match? Well, that was a fortunate dart, but he can't capitalise on it. So Canops then to stay alive. Needs another one of those. Oh, just can't do it. 98. 48 then for Jeffrey Desvan. There was 2 1 down in this game. Double 16 for the match. And he gets it. Jeffrey Desvan is through to face Damon Hetter in the last 32. Warm embrace between the two. So a great chance here for Hetter. Can he fill it up? 100. Not quite, but back to back 140s. I've given him the darts here against Desvan as he looks to break straight back. 41. Another loose visit. So Hetta here has this leg in his grasp. 85. 85 scored. So he's down to a finish. 98. 136 incoming. Right in the middle of the bed. And a bedfellow, double eight for a break back. Game and he shot. gets it. One, three, six for Hetter. Superb finish. Does Van though. 140. Comes back and is looking at a possible 11 dart leg here. And Damon Hetter. Well, this is a magnificent visit. 145. He's left himself on double 18 after nine. He might not get a shot at it. 12 will leave the bull. Bullseye then for a 12 dart leg and he's missed. So Hetta here for a 10 dart leg needs double 18. Double nine. Big moments in this game. Oh, that is a disaster. 28. So does Vaughan. Nine for double eight. And a 4-2 lead. Double eight got it in the last leg. Gets it in the sixth leg as well. Had one gone in the red bit. This one just getting a little bit loose here, is it? A few fives. 44. And that's another poor visit. So Hetta, can he put some real pressure on here? Needs a treble. And 50. doesn't get one. So does Vaughan, 119 needed. Got to look at 19s. So it's treble 20. He's got it. Tops for a 1-1-9. Sure. And he gets it. And we will go to a deciding leg between Damon Hetter and Jeffrey Desvan. 1-10 for the match when he comes back. Took out a 1-3-6 earlier. 96. So 1-10 for the match for Damon Hetter. The second two plus finish in the match. And it's on. 18 for double 16. Double 16 for the match. 78. And he misses, so does Vaughan. We'll get a look at 103. Can he snatch this one at the end? 20 would have left double 12. 50. So Hetta breathes a sigh of relief. It's not been pretty. But is it going to be a last leg win for Damon Hetta? Double 16 the target. 100. And he gets it. Damon Hetter gets the job done in a nervy final leg. And Barneveld here. That's a nice visit from him. So Searle just got to be careful about his work here. Well, as you say that, begging to the left. Brilliant from Searle. And just when Raymond Barneveld has been thinking he's got, we've still got an opportunity in this leg. So fires in a max, and this for a three-leg lead in the blink of an eye. And he, he, when he goes about his business efficiently, he can get it done in no time, Ryan. So and there we are, three-nil, and Roman Van Barneveld has not really laid a glove on Ryan Searle. Halfway to the quarterfinals, Ryan, looking to cap it off with winning one of the last two. He may be a winner today. Ninety-two. Searle's 
one of those players who falls into the group where he's he's had wins now, but he needs to go to the next level, doesn't he, winning-wise? He's in that bracket of if, if you ask a question, who's the sort of next cab of the rank to win a TV major? He's the one that will, you know, with Dirk, there's Ryan, Dave, Chisnell as well. That's what's expected of them now. They need to win a TV major. And Ryan Sir will feel that as well as he looks for tops for 5-1. Yeah, and it sure. is 5-1. And how the game's changed. Raymond had three darts for 3-2. In the blink of an eye, he's 5-1 down and on the brink. And Barney here is putting pressure on Ryan Searle. 100. Nice visit. He needed that. Yeah, he did. And it's both sides of the equation. Barnabas asked questions, but Ryan Searle's invited Nine. pressure because he's mismatched darts. This could be done. He may have... The two visits that he's going to need at this. 56. Oh, not ideal. No, it's not. Well, Barney can't take it out, but he's going to leave it handy. 91. Very handy. So, Searle, 88 for the match then. Beautiful first start. Two at double 14. Bends the wire. Double seven. 74. And another match start. That's five now he's had. And we go on. And Game Raymond, shot. we're starting to believe this is his for the taking because we're back on throw now. And if this does go all the way, yep, Sir will be favourite, courtesy of having the darts. Oh, but he won't be feeling great about himself when you've led 5-1. You don't expect to be battling away in a deciding leg. We may not go there. 140. But Barney's got time. He's got six darts to get rid of this 1-6-1 to send us to what would be an unlikely deciding leg. Well, we thought unlikely around about five, ten minutes ago. 95. Yeah, great last start from Barney as well. Serlo will look to add some pressure. And pressure is incoming here. Great visit 45. to leave double 18. So Barney to level it up needs 66. Great first start. Old faithful double 18. He gets it and we are going to a decider. Four on the spin for Barney. So Barney hitting, hitting and hoping here. The more the merrier from his point of view. 140. But Searle for the match needs 113. And it's on. 13 will leave tops. Tops for a 6 5 win. 73. And another match dart goes. That's six he's had in total. He's not there yet. But he's going to get more chances. Barneveld. It's been a spirited performance from 5 1. He's pushed Ryan all the way, but he's been relying on mismatched darts. Is there going to be any more from Ryan? There's not. He gets there in the end. And uh, yeah, credit to Raymond van Barneveld made a game of it in the end. But Ryan Searle, who controlled the match throughout, stuttered over the finishing line, but found that clinical leg at the end. Quarter final time. As we said here. Elsewhere, Rob Cross leads Ryan Searle by two legs to one. Dave Chisnell won the opening leg against Mike Kivenhoven. And Damon Hetters raced to a 3-0 lead over Alex Zaganski. 100. Winner of Players' Championship 27, of course, last couple of weeks. So, Kevin Price on his own throw. 40. He's on 80, but Van Veen is only two darts away from a leg. So Tops Price needs one dart in hand. Game and shot. Tops he gets right in the middle. What a start this has been from Gilrin Price. Can Price step in? Well, I don't need two darts, would suggest not. 83. 83 feels like a missed chance for the Welshman. Ninety-nine. This is more like it. Single 18 to leave tops. Van Veen, 96 he needs. Is he going to go double, double? He is. Needs another one of those. Game oh, shot. what a shot that is from Gian Van Veen. Ninety-eight. So he's left to finish going price, and he'll get a look at it regardless of the outcome here. But a nice visit incoming. 137. Nice setup play. Price then. Treble 19's the route. There's three. Needs another three of those. 
gets it. Bullseye for a 164, and he nails it. Gilderwin Price moves within one of the semi finals with a 164 checkout. Beautiful adjustment there after the first start. Didn't quite go its intended path. Another one of those. 100. Only a ton. So Gilderwin Price for the match then needs 131. And it's on. Tops, tops. Ooh, just on the bottom wire. But it Not piles small. the pressure on. Jan van Veen, 161 to stay alive. And it's not going to go. So go in price. 65. For a 13th dart leg. And a place in the semi finals. Needs tops. Sure? And he gets it at the first time of asking. A brutal performance from the Iceman. Who wraps up victory in style. But back comes Chizzy. 125. Yeah, not happy that last start because it stops him getting to a finish. Cross will stay up there. We'll maybe look at ball. He should look at ball here. Yeah, he does. Sensible play. Good counting from Rob Cross. He's first to a finish. It's a big ask. Just having a little think about things here, Dave. 110 remains. 94. Just here across there, tapping that hockey, just trying to get his foot settled, and he can't find the first treble in the combination. 56. Up to double 18. Dave's very comfortable on this double. And as it Enjoy. proves there, and he dug that leg out well in the end, Dave Chisnell. 14 dart hold. But for his reward, he got Chris Dobin was beaten in the opening round. 140. Enjoyed that last dart, Rob. A little nod of acknowledgement. But Dave, if he finds another one, and does find another one. And now that now asks a question of former world champion Rob Cross. Has he got the answer? 89. Can't. 127. But the first little look against the darts in this semi final. Chizzy for some breathing space. 17 for tops. Just double checking. Yeah, Rob Cross can't look. This is a big moment in this semi final. And having the darts, it'd be a big yeah, advantage for Dave Chisley. He makes it count. And that was all because of the 140 setup. Hasn't really pressured the 88, Rob. And he was disappointed. He's giving it some thought, Dave, but he's going to go for it, surely. Yeah, finds it. Double seven. 74. Yeah, this is still in the balance. Even if Cross doesn't get the 160, double seven can prove tricky. Sixty. His trebles are dried up in this leg for Rob. Straight at it, Dave. It looks like it. And now has to split. Just steadying himself, Dave. He knows it's a big dart. He's done the hard work getting the breaker throw. And he oh. can't find the double and let off. I and mean, if Rob Cross had been a little bit more forceful on his last couple of visits, obviously the hundred's gettable, but this should have been left a lot handier. Gets the treble. Yes. Real steal this would be. Dave can't look. He'll feel this is a leg he should have won comfortably, and it has been got taken by Rob Cross and he waves his hand up but credit to him 15th meet in between the pair 10-4 in favour of Chizzy one meeting this year a semi-final at the Czech Darts Open which Dave won but he eventually lost the final Cross fires in a max and looking to break the Dave Chisel throw again here 40. Could be a fourth consecutive break of throw here. 
bullseye for cross. Yeah, and he, he gets shot. the bullseye. And credit to Rob Cross, because his body language says he's not really happy with how he's playing here, but he's finding a way just to dig in and edges him slightly ahead. Ah, brilliant from Rob Cross. And whilst neither of these players have been at their best, they've found some big moments of quality. And when we're saying they're not at their best, their average is in the mid-90s, mid to high 90s. It's still... 140. A good display from the pair. This is the shot that won Rob Cross his world title. Yeah. Can't find the second treble 18 Nine this two. occasion. And this is for the match for Dave. Generally see players start over on the treble 16 now. Yes. He's going to get a match start. For the place in the final. Can and he finds the, the top. Brilliant from Dave Chisnell. He had to dig deep. Rob Cross kept coming straight back at him.